Hey everybody, it's good to see you again. I thought we would start with Love Never Gonna Let Me Go, and we're just gonna sing part of it, okay? Love breaking through my heart of stone, love breathing to awake my bones, love reaching out to save my soul, love never gonna let me go, love calling me as I am, love making me new again, love lifting me when I can't, love never gonna let me go. Thanks for singing with me, guys. I miss singing with everybody, don't you? I have a question for you. Why? Why should I love? God tells us in so many places in the Bible that we're supposed to love. But why? Why? Well, I have a letter from someone today who wants to tell us why we need to love. And this letter is addressed to friends. And the letter is from the Apostle John. Let's think about it for a second. Do you think John knew a thing or two about love? Oh, he did. Let's think about it. Let's remember this. Let's remember that John was a friend of Jesus. He was one of the apostles. He was very close with Jesus and went everywhere with them. John was more than just an apostle and more than just a friend. John was one of Jesus' best friends, if not his very best friend. Could you imagine getting to be best friends with Jesus? That'd be pretty awesome. So, John, as he got older, decided to write to us about love and why we need to love. Why would John know some more about love? I mean, he was Jesus' friend, but why? John saw the perfect love acted out. John saw Jesus and how people were not loving to him. People were hateful to Jesus. And Jesus responded in love. People yelled things, they threw things, they whipped him, they beat him, and they ultimately put him on a cross. But Jesus loved the people who did those horrible things to him so much that he let them crucify him because he knew that if he sacrificed his perfect life, Everyone would have a chance to be with God forever. And he loved us so much that he took all the beatings, he took all the pain and all the insults and all the loneliness, and he allowed himself to be crucified for us. He died a very horrible death because he loved us so much. In fact, John in another place wrote a book. And in this book, he gave one of the best verses in the whole Bible. For God loved the world and gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not die but have eternal life and live forever. So that made a huge impression on John. John was there, right there at the base of the cross when Jesus did this amazing act of love. And I think it affected him for the rest of his life. In fact, I know it did. So let me read to you part of this letter. Dear friends, Jesus Christ, God's Son, lived on this earth. I've seen him. I've heard him. I've touched him with my own hands, and I have experienced so much joy in knowing Jesus. And I want you to have that joy, that same joy. God sent Jesus to live among us because he loves us. God even causes his own children because God loves us, and he wants us to love other people. Friends, God doesn't want us to just say that we love him. He wants us to show that love. And do you know how we can do that, John says? 
John says, we show our love for God by living the way Jesus lived. If we see someone who needs something like clothes or food or a warm place to stay, we should help that person get whatever he or she needs. We show our love for God by helping other people. That's how Jesus showed his love for us. He helped us, didn't he? Okay, John goes on to say, and another way to show our love for God is by obeying his commands. In all we do, we should try to please God because God loves us so much and we love God. Remember to pray, my friends, because God hears us when we pray. And always put God first in your hearts. That is a great letter, isn't it? That's a letter coming from a man who's seen he saw perfect love face to face. And he loves us enough. He loved us enough to share that letter. So let's think about a couple of things John said in this letter. <clears throat> Excuse me. He said, dear friends, since God loved us this much, we should also love each other. And that comes from this book. He actually wrote more than one letter. And in that letter, the, I read the one from 1 John in the fourth chapter. And another one he wrote, another thing he said in that letter, we love because he loved us first. Who loved us first? Who loved us first? Jesus. Jesus is the source of all love. And that helps me love someone when they're being a little frustrating. I love them because you know what? I have been so frustrating to God. I've been mean to him. I've ignored him at times. I've just lied at times. God still loves me. God still sent his son for me. God loves me so much. He was still loving to me. He, and he still is. Every day that I mess up, he still loves me. So you know what? That makes me want to love other people. And it makes me love God so much more. And it makes me want to obey God. Because I love him so much, I'm going to obey what he says. So, remember our question? Why should I love? Because he first loved us. He loved us first. Okay, so in the email um, that has th this video on it, I'm also sending along a couple of papers that you can print off. You can have your parents print off, and then you can do. This is one. It's weird, isn't it? All right. So what it is, is it's called Helping Others, and it's God loves us, so we should love other people. So I want you to draw pictures of some other people that you're going to love. So see, I drew some. I'm not a very good artist anymore. So you draw some people you know that you want to love and show them by helping them. And another, the other page I'm sending is this. Coupons. Loving other coupons. And what I want you to do is I want you to take this paper and I want you to cut it, each of the squares out, and say, here's this one. And you're going to say, hey, Mom, here, I want to show you how much I love you. I'm going to give you this coupon, and I'm going to set the table tonight. Or, I'm picking up my toys. Or, I'm going to sit down and look at a book with my little sister so you can finish doing whatever you need to do. Or, I'm going to help maybe sweep the floor, make my bed, maybe help Dad pick up a bunch of sticks in the yard, things like that. Things you can do to help you show love. Because remember, if we love someone, we're going to show them we love them by being kind and helping them. I hope you have a great week, and I so enjoyed my time with you. I'll see you later. Bye.